Hello and welcome to this AV LAN review of the Wharfdale Diamond 122 loudspeakers. We're going to talk to you a little bit about the different technologies that go into making these loudspeakers as well as what we think they sound like and what they're like to use after a few months use. So these are the Diamond 122s and they're a step up from the 121s in the range which have been very well received by the Hi-Fi press and indeed we were very very uh, impressed with when we got them in. Now with these you get a, uh, for not much more money than the 121s a, a bigger cabinet and a larger base drive unit. And the results are very good, a lot more punchier bass. They'll fill a slightly larger room better than the 121s. Uh, and if you've got the space for it and a little bit of extra cash that it costs to buy these, we, we heartily recommend going for them over the 121s. That's not to say the 121s are poor, uh, but it's just that the price difference between them is, is not very much. Um, they do suffer from the same problem as the 121s with the grills. Uh, specifically, the tweeter doesn't sound very good with the grills on at all. It completely messes up the sound. And we recommend having the, 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 at least the grill off for the treble when you're, uh, when you're using them. They come in four different finishes. We've got them here in the black vinyl wrap, but you can also get them in a walnut, uh, a cherry, and also a rosewood. The base drive unit in them is a woven Kevlar uh, unit, and that's the same uh, technology that they have in the higher Jade speakers. You know, they've used some of the same design uh, um, uh, to go into that drive unit, although it isn't the same drive unit. Underneath here, you can see this is where the base port is, and it's quite novel, so there's a, a little plinth, and the air actually comes out from there. Uh, so it manage, uh, manages to circulate in all directions. The bass response is, like we say, very good for these. It, it, we, we were quite, um, quite impressed. And that's with the grill off. You can see there's a very thick rim of plastic around the around there, and and it's uh, that's what we think actually interrupts the uh, sound coming out of the the tweeter. Um, the tweeter itself is is just inside, so it's uh, it's it, it 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 does rely very heavily on having I think clear dispersion. Here you can see the actual bass drive unit going. Now these are the, the, these are rated at 120 watts, and that's a, a sort of guide to the maximum amplifier you should use of them. But it doesn't mean you can't blow them up with a with an amp that's rated at that or below. You can blow up any pair of speakers with any amp. Uh, so you should always be careful. And when if it starts to distort or you see the bass drive unit really moving, that means they're at their maximum volume. This is around the back. You can see they're bi-wireable. We've currently got them with the bi-wire links in, uh, but if you want, you can double up on cable. You can get bi-wire cable, and you can have a separate lot of cable going from the going to the base and a separate one going to the treble. The binding posts can be used in a multitude of different ways. They can accept spade connections. You can see them there with banana plugs, and you can also use bare wire. We recommend using either spade or banana plugs uh, for convenience, but not just that. But the unless you actually solder up the ends of the speaker cable, it will it will oxidize up and it's also a lot neater connection. On to the pros and cons. Now, the, the, the main thing that strikes you when you listen to these is the bass response. They sound very much like a floor standing loudspeaker. They produce that much bass out, out of relatively a small cabinet. Uh, they, they aren't that much more money than the one two ones. And they, they, you know, they, they've got a really good mid-range, really, really crisp vocals that you get out of these. Uh, and not, uh, because it's a soft dome tweeter, you don't get that brightness that you'll get from a metal dome tweeter. So you can really listen to these for, for hours and hours and hours without it, it tiring you. And that's, and that's not to forget the bass. The bass is just fantastic. So all round, these speakers are very good and they're very much, at the moment, our favourite speaker. We heartily recommend these. We really don't think you can go wrong. They're easy to drive. They'll work with a with a relatively small amplifier, so a little micro system uh, like one of the De Denon RCDM systems. Uh, really, really good. Cons: the grill, the tweeter grill, is is the main thing that lets these down. You, they don't have an all. First of all, they don't have a grill that goes over the whole speaker, so you may not like the look of that. But even then, you need to take the grill off the treble to 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 listen to them, or it seriously impedes the sound. There's some kind of something wrong with the design of the actual grill, uh, so you have to take it off. Um, apart from that, maybe the finish isn't as as luxurious as some of the other speakers around this sort of price range. But um, for for their price, we don't think you can you can really hold that against them because the sound quality is just so good from them. Uh, so these get a, a very good recommendation from us. That's the end of our review of the Wharfdale Diamond 122 loudspeakers. 
If you've enjoyed this view or would like to see other reviews, please visit our website, avland.co.uk. Thank you. Thank you.